good morning everyone i hope you're all well i'm also fine um, today i'm going to show you how you can uh, install php 8 on amazon linux 2. so php 8 it's uh, it's new and it's the best php versions that i have ever used and uh, the problem was it was able to installable in ubuntu but i haven't tried with amazon linux 2 but recently I found an option to install Amazon Linux too. So I'm going to show you that. So let's get started. I'm in my EC2 console and I'm going to uh, create a new instance here. I will use Amazon Linux too because that's the version that I mostly use. Then I will use the free tier. I will use IAM role for EC2 SSM, then add tags. I'm going to add a tag here. Check PHP 8. Security group. <clears throat> I'm, I don't need any uh, SSH. I just need HTTP anywhere and HTTPS. That is also anywhere. So if you can launch. So uh, it's ready to be used. Okay. While it's launching, I need to set the A record for a subdomain. So I copy the IP address here. I go to my Cloudflare where I have the domain top AWS tip.com add a record uh, PHP 8. This is the IP address. I'm not going to use proxy. That's okay. So uh, let's refresh. It should be up now. Meanwhile, I go to my website, awswithatik.com and uh, I'm going to search for, uh, oh, sorry. There is a technical issue. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my instance is up and running. So let's go to connect to that instance. Okay, so um, I make this a bit bigger. Okay. I update the yum packages. Yum update minus y. Okay. I am package has been updated. Then I'm going to use a tool called uh, Amazon Linux Extras. So this will give us the possible options that we can use. For example, it shows that we have PHP 7.4, that's stable. We have, uh, let me move you slightly up to see. We have PHP 7.3 or even 7.2. We have uh, Python 3.8. And also we have uh, Apache HTTP modules, Ansible, Vim. Nginx as well. Okay. What I'm going to use is PHP 8.0. That's the uh, version that I'm trying aim at. So what I have to do is uh, sudo Amazon Linux extra. 
enable uh, PHP 8.0. That means this is the default version now. And if I want to run this command, it will install PHP 8. So I copy this command, paste it. Then I'm going to install all of those. Copy, paste it. Oh, sorry, so do. So I have installed now PHP 8. As you can see, what we have installed here is uh, PHP 8, PHP CLI, FPM, PDO, PHP Common, all those things. Let me go to my website. It was probably having some issues with Cloudflare, but I guess it's okay now. I'm going to search here uh, for Linux 2. I will use uh, the commands for installing the let's encrypt part. So uh, this is the one. I need to enable EPEL. And then I run this command. These are pretty standard. You can just copy paste from my website. Then this one. Okay. This will install the uh, SART board for Apache because I'm going to use Apache. And I need to install the Apache as well. To do this, I will just run this command. And I think I have completed this part, but let's rerun again. If it's not there, it will reinstall. Okay, clear my screen. Now I'm going to create a virtual host here. To do this, I will just search for virtual host. I have some examples for virtual host for Apache. So which we will use here. This is the port. I will use notepad. And here I will just change uh, to PHP 8. A dot AWS top AWS dot com and I will use no server alias because this is subdomain. Let's use it for PHP eight. PHP eight. Okay. Now the path is to do vi etc httpd conf.d then vhost.com. Okay, I'm going to now restart the http service. System CTL restart httpd. Okay, my virtual host is created. And if I go to CD or www and then create a directory, PHP8 
cd php8. There, I'm going to create a simple file info.php. Sorry, so do vi info.php. And then I'm just going to write a PHP script for PHP info. Okay, now let's see if I can browse this subdomain php 8 top aws deep.com slash info.php so as you can see we have page version 8.0 and uh, the extensions that we have used all are enabled so that's that's it for all the psp installation one thing that it's not secure let's make it secure sudo uh, cert bot apache Info at AWS .com. Yes, yes. So the HTTPS installation is completed. And uh, if we refresh this page, we will see a padlock icon. And it says that it's secured using Let's Encrypt and Edit for next three months. So that's it for today. I hope you will get uh, an easy look how you can install PHP 8 on Amazon Linux 2, which was a uh, a lot of people are asking for last few weeks, and I was planning to create a video for that. So thank you for watching for video. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click the like icon so that I get motivated and create new videos for you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.